Why is Anne speaking to Kayla like a dog? I mean, I know she's a weak-ass bitch, but still. Love Island USA Season 6 and I'm watching this in the UK on ITVX and the boys are back from Casa. I usually make this video in the morning, but it literally took me all day to process the absolute fucking audacity of Anne to say, oh, thanks for not overreacting at the fire pit, you did good. Who the fuck is he to tell her what she should be doing or how she should be speaking or how she should be reacting? He knew that she was just going to come back to him like that, that's why he done it. And he was making out in, in Casa that he was feeling bad, but he knew that she'd just come back to him, it was fucking pathetic. After he was saying to her, oh, you did good, pat on the head, good girl, she's like, oh, I'm so mad at you right now, oh, I'm so mad, are you fuck mad? Are you fuck, you're a fucking weak ass fucking bitch, it's actually embarrassing. So when it was time to go to bed, Kayla says, I don't want to sleep in the same bed as you, and he says, I'm going to sleep in soul ties. So, what does she do? What does she do? She goes, she goes to soul ties as well, and she's like, oh, I'm just going to lie here, but you're not allowed to touch me, and then they ended up lying there cuddling all night. What was the point in that? You obviously knew that she was just going to crumble as soon as he walked in the house. Honestly, I was like, ah, oh, fuck off, Kayla. So the next day, she was in the changing room talking to the girls, and she says, I know you probably think I'm weak, but I've asked him about it, and he's been honest, and I believe what he's saying, and we weren't closed off. And Liv said, oh, babe, I support your decision. Whatever you decide is the right decision. And I would have said the same thing, but I also would have said, see, when he goes back to England and he does this to you, don't phone me. Because they'll just say, I fucking told you so. So Janae was losing her shit at Kenny. And Leah, of all people, was the one who was like, no, she's taking it too far. You were only paired up for two days. And me and Miguel were only paired up for two days. And it's okay, like, they're allowed to go and, like, like talk to other people or what, like, whatever else. And I was like, ever since Leah was in Casa, it's like she's fucking totally transformed her whole personality. And I was actually agreeing with what she was saying. And she was actually acting level-headed and not like a fucking crazy psychopath. I get that Janae is hurt. But at the same time when she's saying to Kenny and she's saying to the girls, oh, I've just been like in and out of relationships. It's embarrassing. And you know what my past is like in here. But her past in that house is getting nothing to do with Kenny. He was only in there for two days where before he went into Casa. So... As he said, he didn't have a chance to meet other people. Like, there was no bombshells or anything. So I don't really think that he was in the wrong and I do actually think that Ginny overreacted. Just after they came back from Casa, the boys were talking to the Casa girls and they were like, oh, is this normal? Oh, is this how they act? And I was like, who the fuck are they? Who the fuck are they to judge how the girls are reacting? They're the ones who've come back with the guys that they were paired up with. So... I it is fucking normal. And it was Daniela. She's like, oh, is this how they act? Is it normal for somebody to be paired up with somebody who's pretty much in a relationship and then five seconds after they split up with you go with his best friend? Totally desperate to get into the villa. I was like, ah, oh, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Although I find Serena's antics absolutely hilarious, I have been on Cordell's side to some degree. Because, as I said, she friendzoned him at the start. He didn't know where he stood with her. And then when they did the, the dance thing, she stood behind the podium saying that she was still open and she wanted to meet somebody else. So he was obviously confused about the whole situation. However, when he decided to take breakfast up for the two of them, I lost all respect for him at that point. Because, for whatever reason, Janae and the other girls were like, oh, at least you're trying, I respect you for trying. No. She doesn't want you to try. She made it very clear she doesn't want to speak to you. And I'd have been like, I've already told you, you don't respect me. And now you're proving that further by not listening to me at all. I've told you not to speak to me. I've told you not to come near me. And now you're fucking making me breakfast. So when he came up and handed her the plate, she said at least twice, don't even, don't even. And do you know what, Cordell? No means no. So if she's not wanting that breakfast, take it to fuck. So she went like that and hit the plate. And they were like, oh, Serena, as if she'd done something wrong. And I thought the only thing that would stop me from taking that plate off him and fucking him in the face with it is the cameras because I wouldn't want to fucking have a lawsuit in my hands. But honestly, fuck. I maybe would have smashed it over the floor and been like, I'll take your apology when you fucking eat the food off the floor. Get the fuck away from me. I can't stand it. When you say to somebody, I don't want to talk. We're not friends anymore. 
We're not in a relationship. I don't care. Don't speak to me. And then he fucking makes a breakfast. No, absolutely too far. Serena was in the beach house and she was saying if this was outside the house it would have played out a lot differently. I'm reeling it in and I can believe that because see if that happened to me, I would go fucking crazy. Maybe not in her situation, but in a situation where I really thought that me and somebody were closed off and that happened, I would also go mental, right, because I'm not emotionally stable. But I would have also said to him, remember you friends owned him, he didn't know where he stood. And he was confused and blah, blah, blah. But I still support the way she's acting. I mean, it's entertaining if nothing else. But I would be in that villa and I wouldn't be like, oh, you shouldn't have knocked that food on the floor. I'd be like, ah, Cordell, take your fucking breakfast to fuck. She's not interested. She doesn't want to be touching food after you've probably fisted that bitch first thing this morning. Fuck off. So Serena took Daya for a chat. And it was a nice chat. She wasn't freaking out, she wasn't blaming her whatsoever. She was literally just asking her if what the boys were saying was true and she told her no. Obviously Cordell didn't say to her, oh, I'm 90% Serena, 10% you. She wouldn't have come back, nobody would. And at least she was honest with her. And I'm actually glad that Serena didn't freak out at her because I, it's not her fault at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? But she had every right to then go round the house and say to the boys, you're a dick, you're a liar, we're not friends. Because what they were saying was just simply not true. Kayla decided to take Rob and Daniela for a chat to ask what was going on in Casa. And as she was sitting talking shit, no, not even any point in asking because she could have turned around and says, I sucked his dick on night one. And she'd be like, oh, but he told me he had feelings for me, so it's fine. We weren't closed off, it's fine, I'll just forgive him. Because she's just fucking weak as fuck. I actually can't stand her now. But what made it even worse is when she was sitting talking, I thought about when the boys were in Casa and she was like, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Mating their life's hell, literally whining, moaning and fucking gurning for four solid days. They girls had to be in that villa with her listening to that. Then when she got the video, she's like, fuck you, Aaron, we're over. Fuck you, fuck you. Didn't mean a word to it. It was all for dramatics. Walking about giving it all the fucking ugly crying and everything. For what? Please tell me for what? So that he can come back and she can say, I'm not sleeping in the bed with you, but I'll sleep in sotas with you instead. <sighs> I have been in a similar situation where somebody's fucked me over in the past and I forgave them. But once again, I wasn't on national television. This makes a huge, huge difference to what's going on, to be honest. In my opinion, I could not have done that if I knew that so many people were watching me because I would be embarrassed and she's just fucking forgot everything that he's done it's just it's so bad let me know in the comments what you think I know they weren't closed off but the way she was reacting the whole time absolutely fucking freaking out for days and then for what reason she just forgave him anyway when Serena was freaking out at the end and she was up saying to Miguel oh you're a liar like Cordell don't speak to me and all that. And then he was trying to talk to her, right? She was like, that, we're done. So she walked away. And as she was walking away, he stood in front of her. And every time she tried to get past, he was moving and he's like, trying to talk to her. And I thought, she's going to floor him. Because it's one thing to disrespect her, she feels disrespected, right? But then he actually stop her from walking. I'd be like, ah, you've got one chance. You've got one fucking chance. I'm going to boot you in the balls. Get away from me. He grabbed her and he's like, are you okay? She's like, don't touch me. I, honest to God, I can't stand it. See, when you tell somebody no, it means no. It means take yourself to fuck. Let me know in the comments, do you think that Cordell was in the wrong? Either in Casa or now? And what about Aiden speaking to Kayla like that? Let me know what you think. And I'll see you again on Monday. Bye.